Hey kids, you know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid? <laughs> Hi y'all, Gavin with the girls with Nan and Erin, and it's that time again. It's Wine Wednesday where we dine, drink, and decorate. So take it away with the dining. Dining with dollars. Oh, except we just put a lot on this particular oh, appetizer. With limited dollars. Limited dollars. We're making mushroom okay, puffs maybe. today. Can oh, those see? are delicious. Those, Look at these. Well, okay. I think they're delicious. And I have a fear of <laughs> the puff pastry. It's a legitimate fear. Why? Because it's delicate. It's oh. not phyllo dough. And I think that's kind of where I got lost. I was getting confused with the phyllo okay. dough. But anyway, so this is puff pastry mushroom puffs. Look great. So I got it from the Southern Living website. So let's have us a little let's wash. Have, and yes. then we'll take a little drink to see how it goes. All right. Oh, those are good. Aren't they good? What's the mm. name of them? Mm. Mushroom puffs. Oh, and there's some Mushroom heat. Mushroom Did you puffs. get some heat? I didn't get some heat. Hang on. It's there, baby. <laughs> there's some heat. Oh, my. And we're drinking this with the Sauvignon Blanc, of course. So, I'll tell you how. What is it? Them? Okay. Other than mushrooms and hey, puff pastry. It's cream cheese. Mm -hmm. And of course, I use the one third. I try to do everything lighter. So, this is with one third cream cheese. You don't film the heat. My mouth is on fire. I didn't get any. Uh, yeah, it's good though. Mushrooms, just the canned mushrooms, which kind of surprised me. Not fresh. Onion, Parmesan cheese, green onion, and the hot sauce. Of course, here's they, they say a quarter teaspoon, so I do my quarter and then I go. Yeah, a little. A little more, but us in Texas, we and then you know you just do the puff pastry and you fill it and you fold it over and you cut them. Simple. How long? Very How simple. How long did that take? You make the cream cheese. You make uh -huh. the filling. It has to set for an hour in the refrigerator. Uh -huh. Then you put it on the uh, phyllo dough and you bake them for 25 minutes. So active time, not a lot. Okay. Resting, cooking time, hour and a half. Delicious. So, I will be posting this on Gamble with the Girls with Nan and Erin, or GambleWithTheGirls.com, actually, tonight. And while you're waiting for, during those 25 minutes, I've got a little DIY that you can do. You can make the whole reindeer clan, if you so choose. So it takes about five minutes to do one. When you're sitting around with all your wine forks, because I love to repurpose, reuse them, you make little reindeers for Look your tree. Look how cute! Look at this one. Mine's very organic. I just glued five together. You know, there's the body, two for his legs, long neck, and his little schnout. And this is his little hanger for the tree. And then these are little twigs out of my backyard. Now, if you want to put a red nose on there and add eyeballs and a white dovetail, dock your socks off. Yeah. But and if you socks. don't, leave it. Very organic. I mean, I think that is absolutely adorable. Ellie loves it. Ellie's already gotten her mother's corks, that's her daughter, and lined up the whole reindeer clan. And I would sing it for you, but I have a cold and I will not do that. You can go watch our tape from our show tonight. But that's it. You can take it with a little hostess gift for all care. I think it'd be hilarious. It would be a icebreaker conversation piece. You know what you could do with it? You what? could take it and put a ribbon around its neck and tie it around a bottle of wine. Okay. I know. I gotta go now. Her, she getting my head. She's exploded. Taking That's my all job, I and I'm. But that would I be cute. Go. That would be perfect. Awesome. Aaron, get busy. You did good. Thanks for tuning in for not drinking in DIY. DIY whining. DIY when you're whining, and we will see you next Wednesday. Cheers. Cheers. Hey kids, you know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen, but do you recall the most famous reindeer of all?